Right from Radio, I'm David Martos. This is the 78th edition of the Mosta de Venezia, and we're here with Diana El Girudi, Director of Republic of Silence, out of competition here. Diana, Buongiorno. thank you very much for being with us today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. This, um, this film, which I would say is somehow hypnotic, uh, cost you 12 years, 12 years of making this film. Why so long, Diana? Explain it to the, to the viewers and listeners. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of responsibility, so it comes with a lot of uh, cost. It, uh, I mean, I wanted to make a film that is both uh, honest and uh, intimate with my audience and allow them in, but also at the same time reflect on something that is very intense and uh, extremely from the outside world, a complex uh, Uh, reality and era mm -hmm. and for that I, I didn't want to just make a film or just do a job I wanted to take time you know and uh, I didn't know it would, would be <laughs> that long to be honest it just mm -hmm. took that long Your, your film, which is an emotional, I would say, puzzle made of many, many clips shot by you, shot by others, TV clips. When did you realize you were somehow gathering material for something, for a project? When did you realize this is going to be something? It was uh, very long uh, into the process. I think it was probably five years after I started filming that uh, because I started filming for this film, it was a different uh, approach. And then the world kept on changing and I changed and I realized that I was changing. My characters were changing, new characters I brought in as well later. And I think probably after five years I was extremely angry and uh, at myself and frustrated that things around me are moving me more than I am controlling the narrative. Okay. And I thought, okay, let's stop, <laughs> write, write. Right, right, right. It's, uh, you need uh, this uh, approach of writing and making everything uh, on paper. Also your feelings, your emotions, your doubts, your um, fears, your dreams, everything. And I would record a lot of sound also. Not only notes, but also um, like a journal uh, of what is happening around me because I cannot film everything. There are things you cannot film, you cannot record. So you... And uh, I worked with another filmmaker, Emma Davy, who was my uh, supporter and who helped me uh, verbalize things also and make sure something makes sense, some things don't make sense. And then I um, developed a new script and then went back to shooting again. Okay. Okay. Your film is, I would say, an emotional journey throughout your life and the people surrounding you. And it's a complex film. I mean, you, you, you chose not to do a, a, a simple film, a straight film. You choose to do it complex. And I kind of read in, in the press book, you said something like, life is not simple. How could I do a simple film, right? Exactly. Yes. How can you, how can you, when you don't have the luxury of simplicity? Yeah. Yes, of course. It, Some stories are easy, I mean, not easy, but linear. Yes. And you can tell them, like I was walking down the, the street and this yes. happened. Uh, and some are not. And I think the, a lot of, in cinema, you can do that. In music, you can do that. You can also mix and match a lot. And I was always impressed by those big pieces of music that where you can change, you know. It doesn't have to be linear, you know. And people connect, and those... Pieces stayed forever also. So I was hoping all the time that uh, the audience would relate to f the film in the same way you, you described. Like, why not? You know, like, they just go with the flow, even if it's a complex one. Mm -hmm. It allows you more as an audience to have your own uh, interpretation of this film rather than only one interpretation, which is the filmmaker's. Okay, okay. And a final quick question for you, Diana. This film is also political, I would say. Political on uh, your country, political on, on the situation of women. What does it mean that uh, Venice selected this particular film now, today? It is indeed a political film. It is indeed a political uh, decision, I would say, uh, in festival, whether it is conscious or unconscious, I cannot tell. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, I am proud to be uh, a woman filmmaker, as I ad identify myself. And uh, I think it's really important to bring narratives that are not from the history of 
mankind but also womankind. Mm -hmm. We need mm -hmm. that narrative for the audience as well. Uh, so I hope more and more we will be seeing more and more filmmakers, female filmmakers also. Uh, in Venice and in other festivals. Okay, this was a conversation with Diana Giroudi, director of Republic of Silence here in Venice. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Thank you, you too. This is, has been an interview from Venice. This is Fred, the Festival Insider.